good baby. Good boy. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. What a day here in Quartzsite. 50 mile an hour winds. Can't, can't hardly see the mountains. Dust everywhere. Um, went into Blythe today. I know, I know it's California. Went into Blythe today. Had to go into the uh, hardware store to get a few things. And you think it's bad here, it's really bad there. Tractor trailers weaving all over the road. But anyway, let me show you, show you our new camp. Back up just a touch so you can see. See the mountains over there? Can y'all see them at all? gonna go and walk Tucker but I'm really kind of fearful of having the babies out in this kind of dust I just heard from Felix he had uh, foxy lady check for valley fever to see if that's what was making her cough it turned out that it wasn't that but uh oh, hitting gas turns out that it wasn't that but I believe that windstorms like this is what kicks it up and spreads it around. But this is the new camp. Sitting here, got a little bit more room. John has gone home. Felix has gone on. Uh, some of our other friends have moved on. So uh, right over there is David gone boondocking. And my friend, Carolyn's parked behind me. So we're kind of with friends kind of off to ourselves but if you don't mind the wind and you don't mind the dust temperature's pretty good in fact I didn't even run the heat last night but I got to go out to quartzite y'all want to go come on go with us oh yeah by the way I don't know if you guys have seen my new round mount for my phone it comes what you do you attach this solid metal piece here. This is a, an aluminum with a rubber ball on it. And then these extra pieces are available. I got this off eBay. Like so. I think this whole setup was like, um, now don't do what I did. This comes in a small and a large, or regular and a large. And I bought one that was too little. And I couldn't send it back because I opened it up. But, uh. So this was actually for the KLR, and I decided that I wanted, I liked it so much that I'm putting it in all my cars and the RV. So this mount just goes on like so. You tighten it with this knob here, and it sets the post and the foam holder wherever you want. Isn't that handy? And each one of these balls or this mount is about $8. So uh, that way, I can use this in whatever vehicle I'm using. Handy dandy. Now I've got it on there, got it tightened up. Really, really strong. Not cheap at all. Not cheaply made. Uh, what did I say, $40? More I think about it, about $50. But, uh, yep, you guys need a phone holder. There you go. Man, they, they may have something that they like already. They may, not, they may not like what you like. Tucker, I'm just giving people options. You don't know what you don't know. It was only like, you know, a few months ago, I didn't even know they existed. I only learned about it through uh, the motorcycle forums and stuff on the KLRs. Dad, you gonna sell that KLR? I am, I am, Martini. When the right person wants it. I, I like riding in the back. Well, baby, I'm going to keep that bag and we'll put it on the, uh, we'll mount it permanent 
on the electric e-bike. Came back from Blythe and my mat was way out in the yard. Had to put some more rocks on it. But uh, yeah, I got a cover on the KLR. That thing is dusty. Ooh but yeah, I can't, I can't tow this tracker and the motorcycle at the same time. I mean, it's just too much. And I'm riding the e-bike and the monkey a lot more than I am that KLR. So it's got to go. Got to go. Ooh, the dust. One of my favorite things to do is to ride through camp and look at everybody's rigs. I'm in uh, La Posa South now. Moved out of North just to get into a different camp. Have a different change of scenery. A lot more people over here, oddly enough. About to block out the sun, y'all. Incredible. Look at that flag flipping right over here. Y'all see it? Slow down here. Oh. Look at that wind go. I, I, I don't see it. It's the American flag, baby. Hey, there's a white geo tracker like the Wolf Wolf flag. two-tone paint job so I thought I'd get you caught up on uh, the John a little bit he did call me today him and his family John is the fellow I took his RV down to Phoenix and uh, met up with his family down there they're driving back to Michigan he called me today we had a bad connection but I was able to make out the truck was running good and they had cleared 2,200 miles in just a few days. So they moving on. He's back home with family where he needs to be. Sure do miss him though. It's kind of hard. I miss Felix, miss John, miss some other friends. Just the way it is. So Warho pretty bounder sitting right there. I still have a soft spot for a Class A bounder. Felix and me both. People ask me, you know, Kevin, I'm just now starting out RV and what should I get? What's been your favorite rig? Because I've had so many. Well, just when I think I got one figured out, then I change or it changes or whatever and it changes. Your needs change, your life changes. So your RV kind of changes, but uh, I don't know. I like that tan camper van. Yes, that was good. I did hear that a fella bought it. Uh, it was for sale down in Florida. And a fella bought it and got in touch with me. His girlfriend did. Uh, and told me that uh, he's going to restore the tan camper van, bring it back to new, if not better. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm sorry for the bounce. But... Um, I believe from this point on, I believe I'm going to stay with a Class C. And uh, I really like that Bigfoot. So hopefully uh, Lady Bigfoot's going to last me for a few years, five years, I hope, maybe ten. But after that, I think I'd buy another Bigfoot. But you never know. What's my second pick? Uh, I think I'd get a one-ton Ford van, like a one-to-church van, and I'd pull me a a 20 foot toy hauler. Yeah. I had a, uh, a Jayco fifth wheel toy hauler, but it was real bad quality. I didn't keep it. Pull out here and get going. Flags are taking a beating today. You can see that mountain there. I think this is the longest I've ever stayed in quartzite but I've got doctor appointments in Lake Havasu and Phoenix that I'm, I've got to go to now I know why older people 
tend not to travel so much. They got to stay close to the doctors. Uh, I found that out early. That's why you got to get it here. The, that's why you have to get out here and enjoy the life as soon as you can uh, before your health catches up with you. Your health and time. I keep seeing it over and over and over. Get out here as quick as you can. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life now if you can. You got to have a plan. I guess it's a balance between family and career and uh, your private life. There's a balance. I don't think any of us get it right. I don't think any of us get it perfect anyway. But you never know when your health is going to go a different direction than you are. Hardly anybody's out. I can taste the sand riding in the car here, riding in the tracker. Don't see anybody. Can't be good for you. Babies, this just isn't working. What do you mean? Well, I come up here to the park thinking maybe it wouldn't be as dusty up here. This is bad, if, if not worse. It's just one of those days. One of those days it's just better to be inside. I remember learning about the dust bowls back out west when I was a kid. How the dust was so bad that they had to tie ropes between the buildings and they closed their eyes and covered their mouths up with, <laughs> excuse me, cloth, wet cloth, so they could breathe. And they they followed those ropes and stuff between the buildings so they wouldn't get lost. And that the house houses on the inside were covered with dust and dirt. How bad it was on their lungs. This tracker was clean on the inside. It doesn't take long, does it? Makes me kind of sad I won't be able to take as good a care of it as the people that, did, that had it before. But I'm going to use it and take care of it the best I can. Woo. Outside, it's not much better. I'm looking for a paintless dent repair somewhere around here, quartzite. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, I gotta get back in. <clears throat> I got a couple little dings on here that I want to get taken out. I went to have a suit. Oof. Hang on. Oof, oh. Oof, oh. Oof. Good. Goodness gracious. I went to have a suit and talked to a guy up there. He wanted four hundred fifty dollars to remove just a two regular small dents like about that big and two or three little door dings 450 bucks uh -uh, uh -uh. i've had a lot of paintless dent repair work done i think the guy was good he said he was four weeks behind but he wanted 450 bucks i figured at most it'd be 250. so if you guys can recommend a good paintless dent repair guy around the phoenix area or here let me know the guy uh had his uh post-it note up at the uh, laundromat today that that's what he did he was looking for work here in town but he just did leave i found this i found his advertisement just a day or two day or two too late but yeah i can't keep this tracker clean but when i get out of here i promise you i'll keep it nice and shiny yeah i guess more than anything i'm just touching base and saying hey with you guys just checking in it's just my life, it's just my everyday life, sharing it with you. All right, what a video. Here we are. All right, I'm gonna end it where? This video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. 
Jesus Christ, he's my Savior. All right, enjoy the jibber-jabber. I'll see you soon. Bye.